Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro battery replacement. We are going to use a hair dryer to heat up the back cover. The back cover is made out of glass and we need to be very careful removing it. About 5 minutes should be enough. Using a suction cup and isopropyl alcohol, we are going to remove the back cover carefully. So try to get some space in between the back cover and carefully use your very thin opening tool. So this is a very thin and flexible opening tool and I am dipping it in isopropyl alcohol so it's easier to open up. Do not get too deep with your opening tool because you may damage other parts from the phone like flex cables or antenna cables so usually you have to go about three millimeters in So it depends on the area you are, but it's always better to skip this video ahead and see what parts you have under the back cover. Where you have your power and volume flex cables and where your antenna is okay if you have a hard time opening the back cover you may need to reapply heat so be careful it's a glass back cover and it will break if you force it. So, as you can see, you have here a flex cable that we could have broken very easily by going in too deep. The double sided tape is still very very sticky and we are going to recycle it. get an eject tool and get this seam tray out also get your Phillips screwdriver 1.5 and get all of the screws out
we remove the bottom screws so we need to be very careful not to mix these screws up you don't want to use the bottom screws for the top part or the top screws from for the bottom part because the black screws are longer okay after removing all the screws we need to get the frame off from the phone so using an opening tool to get in between the screens plastic bezel or frame but not in between the glass and the plastic in between in between the frame and the uh, screens bezel how do you call that so get this part opened up and very carefully because we have a fingerprint sensor here very carefully detach so you can get your flex cable disconnected now disconnect the battery the next step is removing the battery so if we read here it says first pull out A and B then pull up A it also says it's dangerous do not dismantle by yourself it's a warning so this is a good idea because using metal tools or sharp tools that can puncture uh, that can puncture your battery may cause an explosion or fire it's not something you want to risk so let's take a look at the new battery we have an original Xiaomi battery in here that is provided with double-sided tape and the stickers so we need to get all of this off including the double-sided tape Okay. Now we need to peel off this protective film from the double sided tape and place the battery inside and align it to your uh, phone's frame and connect to the motherboard okay after this is connected we get our side frame and connect this uh, fingerprint sensor push on the sides so everything goes in place After everything is 
in place get your screws bottom screws are light green or yellow and they are all here and all of these yellow screws are the same but do not put any black screw at the bottom because you may end up breaking your screen from the inside Now let's insert the SIM tray into the phone and it's a good idea to test before closing up the phone. So the phone is powering on. We need to get the back cover. I'm going to align this or maybe I'm going to replace this it's too damaged so I am getting it off and replacing it using good quality double-sided tape. Okay. So the, the, the double sided tape surrounding this is very very sticky, I don't need to replace it, it's not damaged so it will remain as it is. I am just gonna use some um, heat to make it even stickier and place it on the foam. So, two minutes should be enough. Now we can get this back cover back in its place and apply pressure all around so the double side the tape does its job. So the phone is fixed, we have our battery replacement done and if this video helped you can like, comment and subscribe. Have a good day!